must have felt like deja vu that first quarter uh, from last year. Uh, yeah, um, I wasn't thinking about that, but um, we were really disappointed. Like, yeah, just um, you know, the way we started uh, was indicative of the game. So once we give a side like Adelaide playing at home, start like that, it's really hard to peg it back, especially where we're at at the moment. So yeah, we, we took a step back today. Um, obviously, but, um, our our inability to defend as a team really hurt us early and then we just couldn't stop the um, uncontested marks in particular in the first quarter. Couldn't lock it in our forward half. And then when they started getting on top around the ball, it, the floodgates opened. So yeah, yeah, it's um, pretty pretty inconsistent the last, you know, home versus away form in particular. Um, so we've got a lot of work to do when we travel in particular and bouncing back next week is going to be even more important. Do you have an idea why players to start so now? You guys spoke about it and you were looking at why you were you know, um, not performing on the road? Yeah, we didn't try a heap of different things, but we just put a spotlight on our form when we travel. <laughs> and uh, it clearly didn't work. Um, just looked lethargic when we started the game, you know, and there's no excuse for, for that. So we, we've got to own it. But the maturity of the group and as we grow as a team, as a unit, we, we expect more. Did you... Is there any signs at all this week that that was going to happen though? You're going to be lethargic to start? Not really. I'm trained pretty well. You know, there's obviously with West Coast, I'm a big club. And we had a really good win last week. So handling, handling that is always a challenge for us. Um, but I don't think anything can be an excuse for, for what we did today. So they're really disappointed, but also aware of where we're at in our journey and making sure we, we learn from it and we, we bounce back next week. That's our priority we just can't get too too low on this one um, as much as we're disappointed we've got to we've got to get going again like a few weeks ago against Collingwood you said that you know you were happy the way they responded after half time yeah did, were you, did you point to that at half time and hope for that to come out again? um yeah we don't have to go to that all the time like I don't think we rolled over um, I just think we got outplayed and some individuals actually did a pretty good job you know I thought Bailey Williams was okay in the ruck I thought Jermaine Jones went back and did some good things Chessa, um, Ruben, Harley, you know, stood up. So many younger players, Barras, McGovern. So these guys individually were, were okay, but collectively, we were, that's that's the bit. So when we when we play well, we play as one. And we just didn't we didn't it didn't look like that tonight. So it's going to be really pleasing to see what Harley was doing, especially in the third and fourth when he looked like he was trying to take on the pro by himself. But at this point, you that it seemed like too few teammates were going with him and he kind of put him up Yeah, yeah, I'm someone. Who, isolate Harley in that point. Look, he's a, he's a fantastic kid and I love his spirit. And, um, you know, he wants to be part of a team, not the team. So, um, and he's not there yet, <laughs> yet. Um, but he, he definitely, um, yeah, you, you, you know why we drafted him. So it's not just uh, what he does with the ball, it's the spirit he brings as well. But that, that's, that should be just sitting there nicely and the rest of the guys get together and we start working on our, our team identity. And he wants to be part of that. So. Yeah, um, that's why that's why I'd be disappointed. When you're at this stage in the rebuild, how do you come back from these, or how do you assess these sort of losses with the team? Do you, do you have to get really critical, or do you have to try to put yeah. it behind you quickly? You got to be you got to be honest, pragmatic. Um, you know, sense of understanding that some days you're not going to have great days, but thought we were sort of past these type of losses. So. I'll just be honest, we've spoken to the boys, so just honesty is the way they want to be treated. And then um, we'll highlight what happened on Tuesday and get on with the Saints next week. So as much as um, I'm not sure if the hysteria or not that's there, or it's just, um, we, won't, we don't bind it that bit. So we're pretty, we're pretty pragmatic. Can you, you put, try to tag or put the clamps on Jordan Dawson early yeah. when we start to, you know, <laughs> start to the game? We went with the crouch early, um, but when it's like that, it's, you might as well you know, we did, we put some work into Dawson's second quarter. He does change a lot of positions around the ground. So as much as you nullify one, that's what I said, said earlier about. Individually, we can have some wins, but if we don't start doing it collectively, you know, what's the point? So we, we really need to get our system down pat weekly and be consistent in that space. And that's what young teams or rebuilding teams, whatever you want to call us, um, that's what we're working on, just good identity. and we. You know, took a step back in that space. Is that mental, more physical, or was it's a bit of everything? A bit of the, you know, like I said, the, the maturity of the group. You know, it's it's um, you know, 
you, you suspect it's going to be up and down. Um, and we've had some good ups this year. So how they deal with those is important and how we deal with these is important as well because we're different. We're not the same. We're not last year. We're not decimated by injuries or guys coming back too early. We've got a bit more honesty about us. So we can be more honest with when we play like we did today. Was your gut, your gut feel that he didn't quite handle the positivity from last week? Or? Um, I don't know. I, don't, I might be unfair just to put it on that. I think Adelaide played a great brand, like you know, physical. Um, you know, we couldn't stop the uncontested game, so I don't think it was as that. Well, we're here to win, and we got here on th Friday, so it's not like we did a lap of honour on Monday, like from last week. But we had a good win, and then we we um, we didn't back it up. So until we back it up, you can what you need to write, I suppose. Well, what are the things you can change or do to try and alter the form away to our home? Is it little things? Is it big things? How do you...? Well, the priority now is Saints. So, and then we've got North. So two home games and we've got the bye. So we'll, we'll, we'll just keep trying to play our way everywhere, anywhere, anytime. And until we get that right, well, we're going to be up and down. So, yeah, that's our priority now is next week. Um, it's a tight calf, yeah. I don't know who's playing with it. It's, um, took the opportunity to make some changes. We put Liam Ryan down back. Um, Jermaine Jones went back. Duggar went on ball. So we tried some things. Tried to slow up the ball movement. Control the ball a little bit. But, you know, it was just trying to protect the scoreboard a tiny bit by the end. How did you see Elliot Yost return? He was a bit scratchy early. He was, you know, he wasn't at his best. Um, he'd be good for the run. He got through. Um, I think coming back from... His history is must be a bit of, you know, be nervous a little bit about how he comes back. But he came back, you know, I think he worked in the game. Um, but definitely he's had better ones. You just spoke about that run too. You've got two games at home and then the bye. How important is that going to be? And not even for just that point period, but then the back end of the season. The next two games? Yeah, the bye. Oh, yeah, just this week. You know, we, we will not, you know, we'll review the game. We'll put it to bed by end of Tuesday. And then we want to train well on Tuesday and Thursday is the same. And, you know... Match committee will be will be interesting this week. What do we do uh, with Flynn, who's who come back and played last week? Um, um, you know, Gaffy played really well. True played well. So we'll, we'll just have a look at at that. But it'll be a normal week once we review this game. Adam, how do you measure that move to the bench in the second half? How do you work that when you should be up top or um, around level? It's a good question. I've, I haven't been. At ground level for most of the year, but we, when we when we're off, um, you can see it in the players' eyes. It's a little bit not confusion, but it's like so many things we're trying to fix. And I reckon we can overcoach as well because you're trying to solve every problem. So I feel like just communicating with the players probably takes priority rather than strategy. So the boys do a really good job up there anyway um, in the box. So it's probably a bit more intimate being on the bench and trying to. I don't know. I don't think it really worked. Uh, maybe it's more for me than anyone to try and do something different, but. Um, yeah, they were pretty calm on the bench, so um, yeah, I'm not sure if we did anything. How do you work out now where you should be? In the box. Do you reckon that's where you've been? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, um, yeah, we've got to back in our leaders, and well, but things happen. Like we're, we're still working on a lot, so um, no, I'll be staying in the box.